Eastern and southern New England, many local churches filled to capacity and beyond that. And as Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono shows us, congregations pulled out all the stops on this, the holiest day in Christianity. He joins us now with more local coverage on Easter 2015. I traveled to Riverside and joined the congregation at St. Brendan. While there, I met a man who said Easter weekend allows him to share both his passion and his talent. Under a bright sunny sky, there was a steady flow of families walking into St. Brendan Sunday morning. For many of them, this is their home. On Easter, it's a celebration, a packed house. And from the choir to the brass section, angelic music fills the air. Brian Marr is the man behind the trumpet. As a brass player, Easter is one of the biggest days of the year. He's been playing for 12 years and says it is an honor anytime he is asked to perform. We usually get hired for a mass or two every Easter and Christmas. Um, kind of show up, play some church music, kind of give some entertainment to folks that usually don't get to hear that kind of stuff in church. The music is part of the celebration. From children cradled in their parents' arms to the blessings of holy water, there's a message this Easter. The responsibility of these people outside these four walls. My friends are here today because 2,000 years ago, Jesus took a handful of bad news the disciples and made them good, and then sent them into the world to proclaim the good news. For 2,000 years, they've been preaching this very message, that the tomb is empty. Brian Marr tells me most communities don't have a budget to pay for musicians every week, so adding a brass section for Easter weekend is a special experience. In the newsroom, Brian Nicono, Eyewitness News.